and welcome to the session. Today I am going to help you with polynomials. So let us discuss the following question. If the polynomial x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10 is divided by another polynomial x square minus 2x plus k, the remainder comes out to be x plus a. Find k and a. So let us first write the key idea that we will be using in our problem. According to division algorithm, we have P of X equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. That is, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient. Plus remainder. Now let us write our solution. Given to us is P of X is equal to X4 minus 6X cube plus 16X square minus 25X plus 10. And G of X is equal to x square minus 2x plus k and r of x is equal to x plus a. We have to find k and a. By key idea we have p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus R of X or P of X taking this R X X to left hand side so we get minus R of X is equal to G of X into Q of X. Now substituting the values we get X to the power 4 minus 6 X cube plus 16 X square minus 25 X plus 10 Minus x plus a is equal to x square minus 2x plus k into q of x or x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10. Opening this bracket we get minus x minus a is equal to x square minus 2x plus k into q of x. Now solving it further we get x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25 minus x is 26x plus 10 minus a is exactly divisible by x square minus 2x plus k. So now we divide x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 26x plus 10 minus a by x square minus 2x plus k by using long division method. Therefore, our dividend will be x4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 26x plus 10 minus a. And our divisor will be x square minus 2x plus k. Therefore, now dividing it we get x4 divided by x square gives you x square. So here we write x4 minus 2x into x square gives minus 2x cube plus k into x square gives plus k is x square. Now solving this, don't forget to subtract signs by subtracting. Now 
this gets cancelled. So minus x x cube plus two x cube gives us minus four x cube, and plus sixteen x square minus k x square gives plus sixteen minus k into x square. Rest all terms are just minus twenty six a plus ten minus a. Now again minus four x cube divided by x square gives minus four x. So minus four x cube here. Minus two x into minus four x is plus eight x square. Minus four x into k gives minus four k x. Now again subtracting it. Don't forget to change the signs while subtracting. This gets cancelled. And sixteen minus k into x square minus eight x square gives. 8 minus k into x square and minus 26x plus 4k x gives minus into 26 minus 4k into x plus 10 minus 8 as it is. Now again, uh, solving it further, 8 minus k into x square divided by x square gives plus 8 minus k. So here we get 8 minus k. X square, eight minus k into minus two x gives minus into sixteen minus two k into x, and eight minus k into k gives plus eight k minus k square. Again, subtracting it. Don't forget to change the signs while subtracting it. This gets cancelled, so we are left with. Minus 10 plus 2k into x plus 10 minus a minus 8k plus k square. So we get our remainder as minus 10 plus 2k into x plus 10 minus a minus 8k plus k square, and our quotient as x square minus 4x plus 8 minus k. Now for p of x minus x minus a is equal to x four minus six x cube plus sixteen x square minus twenty six x plus ten minus a to be exactly divisible by divisible by X square minus two x plus k. The remainder R x must be zero. Therefore, we have minus ten plus two k into x. Plus 10 minus a minus 8k plus k square equal to zero for all x. Now, for this to be zero, coefficient of x will be equal to zero, and this constant term will also be equal to zero, which implies minus 10 plus 2k is equal to zero. And 10 minus a minus 8k plus k square is equal to zero. First, solving this, we get 2k is equal to 10, which implies k is equal to 5. Hence, k is equal to 5. Now solving this, we get 10 minus a. Substituting the value of k is equal to 5 from here, we get minus 8 into 5 plus 5 square equal to 0, which implies 10 minus a 
minus 40 plus 25 equal to 0, which implies minus a minus 5 is equal to 0, which implies a is equal to minus 5. Therefore, a is equal to minus 5. Hence, required answer is k is equal to 5 and a is equal to minus 5. I hope you understood this problem. Bye and have a nice day.